Yeah, how is everyone doing? Great, I hope. Yeah, the Atari VCS is awesome, you know. Uh, brilliant. I'm playing uh, Teller or Boxer for, for the for the Virtual Boy. For the... <laughs> this is incredible. The Virtual Boy. Uh, I'm playing Teller or Boxer, which is a, a boxing game for the Virtual Boy and the Atari VCS. This is in, insane, you know. Uh, so, first of all, I'm going to set up the controls, which is going to be strange because... As you can see, the Virtual Boy, um, uh, the Virtual Boy controller is very different than um, an Atari VCS controller. But I'm going to show you and map out the controls, and it it, it recognizes the, the Atari controller. So uh, I've never used a Virtual Boy before. I've never even seen one in, in person. I've seen it on on online, okay. And on YouTube, but uh, just the first time I've ever actually played a virtual boy, or you know what I mean. So I don't, I don't know what to expect here, you know. But all I do know about about the virtual boy that I failed uh, and it causes headaches and seizures. So I think that's why it failed. But to this controller it has two D pads, it has two grey buttons on the left, two red red buttons on the right. So strange, and they say that the the battery pack connects to the to the back of the controller. So I don't know, you like, know. So I'm gonna try and map out the controls, right? Uh, so I'm gonna start the game. <laughs> this is incredible. Read instructions before I use the booklet, you know. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna try and make the screen a bit bigger. <laughs> Crazy full screen, the virtual boy and the Terry VCS. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna virtual boy. Oh my god, the virtual boy. Now, if we wanted to get one of these things, we'd, we'd have to pay over 500 euro, and, and that's the cheapest price I've ever seen the virtual boy on eBay, you know. Uh, so but I'm playing on the Atari VCS, the Virtual Boy. Uh, this is incredible. Now, even uh, like to just to put this into perspective, we, for some reason, everyone likes collecting the Virtual Boy, even though they know it's a failure, because it's so rare and people want it. Like this is considered uh, one of Nintendo's biggest failures when it comes to consoles. You know, the only other failure, in my opinion, is the Wii U. The, the Virtual Boy and the Wii U are two of Nintendo's biggest failures, but this was the first one. Uh, they called it the Virtual Boy, so because the Game Boy was so successful, they decided to call it the Virtual Boy. But the reason why this didn't work is because of the health issues. I mean, you're staring into this thing, it's a headset. Uh, Red and black. The, gra the, the graphics are red and black. It's not. It's not virtual reality like, like PlayStation VR or anything like that. It's just pseudo three D. But they say that a te uh, uh, Telero Boxer, the game that, that I'm going to play now in a minute, is the only game that really makes it feel like you're in a a three D environment. Uh, but uh, there was only something like fifteen games on the Virtual Boy. Uh, now, we live in Ireland, and there's just simply no way I would ever get a Virtual Boy to eBay, even if I wanted to. And even if it, if it got here, it probably wouldn't work, because it's it's it, it's American-only, like, there was never a PAL version of this. So, we'd have to get a step-down converter just to make sure that the, the correct voltage is going into it. And then, like I said, they, they say that 15 minutes after playing the Virtual Boy, you should take a break. But I'm, I'm still in a state of, <laughs> well, that this is even possible on the Atari VCS. But it seems to be, so I'm going to press the button. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's a recognising the controller. Option, automatic pause, on or off. So, on, I guess, so... And it has music. So you'd be staring into this thing. Look at this, you know. Um, it has some good music. But look, it's red and black, like, you know. 
You know, this would be right on your face, so this would be a lot louder and stuff. Nintendo of Action 1995 Nintendo. This is incredible. Um, and the and the Atari VCS. So I'm gonna press start. And we didn't have to configure the controller or anything. Not yet. It seems to be fight. Yeah. So it's. Full select, so it has it. You can save your progress. So opponent list to fight this guy. Johnny, <laughs> country, Great Britain. Round one. So it's working. So it's a, it's a first person perspective. So the, the bumper buttons are, are, are the right and left, you know. The right bumper is right, left is this is incredible. Uh I can't move though, I can't move left or right. But so this is what it would have looked like if we were playing a virtual boy. It's it's a lot easier on the others, that's for sure, you know. But it's not bad, like it's just um and um, so, uh, but again, this is incredible on the virtual boy on the Atari VCS. It's not, it's not that bad of a game, it's something similar to Punch Out, sort of, I guess. But imagine this is like a headset, you're st staying into this. And the virtual boy had like a stand, so you could stand it on a table, so. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's not a bad game. The game itself is not bad, but it'd be better if it was in colour instead of just instead of red and black, though. You know. But I can't move. I can't figure out how to move. But the um, the right bumper is right and left bumper is, is left fist. You know. Take a break. So, Teller or Boxer on the Virtual Boy, this is incredible. Um, and every time it flashes red, like, that's him hitting me. Like. And so, he, so he's uh, kicking my ass, you know. Uh, so I had to had to figure out how how to move. Well, it's not, it's not, it's not a bad game, but again, we did the virtual boy. <laughs> so he he's had to knock me out, you know. So so that's that's. So I'm going to try and figure out how to move because we, we, we can punch but I can't move, you know, so uh So I'm going to go to the controller and I'm going to attempt to map out the controls but as you can see it has two D-pads so I'm only going to be able to use one so I'll, I'll use this one to move like, if you know what I mean Up for up, down for down, left for right, left for right, if it works uh, uh, I'm still amazed that this works like, you know. Um, and, uh, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just mapping out the controls for the Virtual Boy controller and, and the Atari VCS controller. But as, as you can see, it has two D pads, so I'm just gonna use the le the left thumb stick for as the left D pad, you know. And uh, right, okay. So on the, the two grey buttons, I'm gonna put uh, X and A on the um, VCS controller. Wait, hold on. Uh, 
So the glass, I'm looking at the Uka Punch, but I couldn't move. Uh, so, okay. So, like I said, the Dorit D pad, I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do about that, you know. Uh, uh, but these buttons here will uh, we'll put as uh, William B. So, Okay. Uh, so the second D-pad, well, I'm going to try and use the, the right stick. Uh, uh, left anyway. Uh, right, I guess. But yeah, okay. Uh, and the... Uh, the triggers I'm gonna put as the uh, the uh, I don't know <laughs> I don't I don't know um, see if this works uh, okay and Okay, so let's see if this works, you know. It's going to be awkward, no matter what, you know, because the, the VSET controller is so different to, from the virtual Wii controller. But let's see if, if we can if, if we can move. Say for our V, no, just, just this game. Okay, let's see. Yeah, up and down, it's working, eh? Yeah, okay. It's a shame that they they met with the virtual boy with, with virtual reality. They should just made this like like an armor console. But so this guy that, that beat me ass last time, and yeah, I can move. See, look, nothing right. So yeah, it works. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, so we can move and we can duck and stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. A meal, a a meal, a component now. Kill. Look at up his upper cut and down is the points in the stomach and stuff. Pretty kill. Cool. It's pretty kill. Cool. And the only the the, the pound is he moves around and stuff. Yeah, so this is Taylor Boxer and and the virtual boy. Pretty kill. Cool. And it works pretty well with the VCS guitar. I have to say, like, you know. It's not bad, not bad. It's not a bad game. It's just it's, it's the fact that it's on the Virtual Boy. Uh, so, uh, anyway, I just want to make, make a quick video about that. Virtual Boy games on the Atari VCS. And it, and it does work with the um, VCS controller. So, pretty awesome. So, I hope everyone has a good day. Take care, boy boy.